so we have seen that god meets all our needs if you are in loan if you are in debt you are unable to pay your dues ask god particularly about those amounts which you have loans and god will open the door for that loan to be paid for you so you should know how to discern and how to pray for it suppose if you are suppose if your children are waiting for the marriage don't go and rush to see the alliance because by rushing you can't meet the needs uh, appropriate alliance you won't be getting because we see that some of the marriage is unfulfilled because we don't ask god and we rush in hurry so we have to wait and seek god for his assistance in the marriage life so uh, for your children's marriage you are supposed to pray from the beginning when you know that you are children are in need of those things and you are for your all your needs you have to pray to god so pray in such a way that god will be pleased to give you all your needs so don't pray in the wrong method so some of the youngsters we see that they they are praying for a fish lord i like this boy i like this girl and uh, you see the outward appearance don't see the outward appearance and you pray god bring me a good guy or good girl who is a god fearing so that your marriage life will be in the balanced condition so pray for that 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 is good now we see that many youngsters are asking god god for this girl for this boy don't seek that because that's not the will of god if you uh and don't pray god god that girl should accept my proposal this guy should accept my proposal that's a wrong method of praying abraham servant we see that abraham had a servant and uh, his servant he sent him with all the criteria that he said find a girl for my son isaac now he is supposed to get married so he sent his servant to search a girl appropriately matching with isaac see when we look to the girl or a boy they should first of all cooperate and the cooperation should be there between a husband and a wife marriage is not a life we have several things in our life but marriage is such a thing it is first of all honored by god secondly a one time everyone get married and that is a blissful life and god gives us a good matches god had already appointed a good matches for everyone so one time you have to wait and see god's move in your life so that he will appropriately fix your marriages so ask god's will for that that's why uh, here we saw how abraham servant went and sought a good appropriately exactly the same match isaac got how the abraham demanded from his servant so we have to wait and ask god's assistance in the same manner you can uh, for your business you can ask god show me if anyone is keen to do the business you have to seek god's assistance god is it your will or uh, and show me the way appropriately how i can uh, i can invest and receive a good income through my business you can pray for jobs if you are not having a you don't have a good job you can ask for your better job you can uh, you can pray for your future educations you know education which will fix you or lead you to the appropriate direction of your ambition so you have to pray god god which education will be better for me or which stream would be better for me so that god would fix in those areas and you have to pray constantly god please ask god for your business your jobs so you have to pray for wisdom for wisdom you might be don't have those talents uh, which you require in the fields where you work in the fields where you study wisdom is required by uh, wisdom is needed for all the people of people of god so we need to ask wisdom you know the whole person also if we get more old 
still we need more wisdom we have to brush up our wisdom if you are weak in any areas of your life you have to ask god to strengthen yourself so don't hesitate to pray uh, whenever you get time you can ask god seek his assistance and that would be a better choice if which you are making and and god also knows our needs and god meets our needs see i remember uh, in matthew 14 that uh uh jesus he multiplies the two fish and five loaves were multiplied and given to the 5000 people and who were in great need because they all went to hear the wordings of god and they were very far from the marketplace where they can't get anything they can't uh, meet their needs that is a particular meal so god meets that need God Jesus did a miracle by multiplying two fish and a five loaves that's what resembles that God has the capacity to multiply us per your need how much you needs that much need will be met by God so God is giver and he multiplies accordingly to your needs God meets all your needs so God never causes or destroys when we demand from him god never wishes to destroy a curse or devastate our blessing so see to that that you don't pray for the crooked money you know when you are earn the money in the crooked way that god can't bless and don't don't uh, pray to god for that if you do the hard work you know god blesses that hard work isaac was hard working yielded many crops we see jacob's life he was hard working he was striving all throughout his journey his life he was working more hard and even we can see the life of joseph he was also hard working and we see the fruit produce at appropriate time when you do the hard work and god watches that and good work if you do god surely will bless you in the upcoming days and we see some people have the habit of stealing the money robbing stealing and cheating so these all the monies god cannot bless you know if we uh, bring the money in the wrong method that money is not blessed in our home and even if we pray for those things god cannot bless us you know that money is not blessed betrayal murder money is also not blessed you know i remember that judas iscariot he always held money in his pocket one among the 12 disciple now he was having the money and he desired to have more money so he betrayed jesus and he betrayed jesus for just 30 pieces of a silver coin and the moment he betrayed jesus he was abandoned you know he was removed from the 12 discipleship so satan easily deceived him through the lust of money so betrayal money is also not blessed why because he 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 betrayed jesus for 30 pieces of silver coin and that money he went and gave to chief priest so judas iscariot he betrayed jesus and this money he could not keep with him why because he betrayed the innocent blood and he gave that money to the chief priest he i betrayed the innocent blood and saying that he just threw the money to them now they could also not keep those money they said that this is the money of a betrayal so they bought a field uh, and to for the uh, they bought a field for the burial place so they said that this field would be a burial place for the uh, gentiles so gentiles were buried in those field and today also that place was named as a field of a blood so here what we see is that the betrayal money is not at all accepted by god and god will not bless those money also in the earlier days we see the tax collectors they also uh, survived one of the tax collectors zacchaeus 
he when he was touched by jesus he gave all the money to the people and he followed jesus so tax is also considered as a as a money which is not a blessed money in the earlier times in the earlier biblical times so to become rich don't pray now these are the things which i am saying that you are not supposed to pray for these things to get rich instantly becoming rich god make me rich i want to become a millionaire billionaire don't pray for this so this is not a right method to pray in timothy 6:10 it says that money is the root cause of every evil thing so money is really a root cause of every evil thing if men when they strive when they are in the tough time they will see god more if they get more money then their prayer also decreases diminishes they are moving away from god so money is the root cause of every evil thing um once a rich man came to visit jesus and he came to ask him lord what shall i do to get once there was a rich man he also came to jesus seeking how do i receive an eternity and jesus said that um, uh follow the commandments which you are supposed to follow he said that i am following since i was childhood ten commandments i follow so jesus said go and sell you all the riches and then come and follow me but he went very 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 sad way why because jesus said that it was very difficult for him to sell the riches because he was the most wealthiest person he even said that the camel would easily pass through the eye of a needle but this rich man for him it is difficult to pass through the eye of a needle so how much is a tough for the person who love the riches so don't pray to get rich uh so israel now let look to the life of israel when they started to move from wilderness journey now these people they were just going through the wilderness they sought all their life even though in the midst of murmuring they sought god but when they entered when they entered in the promised land after many years they forgot the god whom they saw so when people are in need when they were slavery they needed more god but when they become very all their needs were met they forgot god so in the same manner the riches should not be hindrance for our spiritual growth how you should pray when you are in trial you should know that you have to understand that god has a purpose and plan in your life that that is the main thing during trial you should know how you should pray when jesus went to gethsemane he was in trial he asked god he knew that how he is going to suffer and how these people are going to hand him over to the chief priest and how he is going to suffer he knew everything before only but he said to god and father it's your will not my will you, you can remove this cup if it's your will or not so we should know in our trial that how we should demand god father it's your will show us your will we have to demand it here jesus he was in trial and he said lord if it's your will remove this cup of bitterness from me god did not deliver him out of trial why because he is going to pay a heavy price for all the humanity once for all on the calvary of cross and that price opened a door for gentiles so that god had prepared a place for us that purpose god did not deliver him but when we are under trial we have to pray and seek the assistance of god so that he will open a way for us and we have to always as god's plan uh, for our life father makes a way to come out of a trial we all have trial initially 
and we are new to that and we are in the battle of struggle and trial every time so initially when we come in that in this battle we are not understanding what's happening with us so in the battle we have to discern that god is training us how we should stand faithfully so that we we don't fall even in the trial time abraham was tested you know he got isaac at the very old age isaac was gift to abraham at the old age and only one son he got and he god demanded him that go and go to moria and sacrifice him now remember a human sacrifice is not permitted the people those who believe the almighty god and jesus we don't have in us that human sacrifice it was not permitted at all but then why god asked abraham because he tested him is he willing to do anything for me so god tested him because that was the only one point where he could deny god so god tested him but he, abraham god did not permit to sacrifice his son but god kept a ram nearby him for the sacrifice so god provided those needs that's why jegova jaira my provider we all sing the hymns you know we can understand how much it is important so god knows every believer and a overseer has to pass through this trial and they have to overcome so when first time you are in the trial and the pressure you will learn that how to withstand second time when you are tempted third time when you are tempted and the temptation goes on and the trial goes on till our journey is on earth and we have to learn how to wear the full armor of god so that we can withstand the devil's invasions and you have to wear all the armor of god you should know how to handle the situations when it is absolutely it is very strange thing when you are entering in the trial first time if you are becoming a believer or you are coming from outside world or you might be a christian by background but when you accepted jesus you might be going through such a trial which you have never known in your life so you have to understand that this trial will teach me something better and the trial itself teaches us the best way how you can pull out those strongholds and you have to you can win those battle which you are having every time the trial teaches us and this is why we know how we can empower those problems when we become the child of god now see why i am saying the trial teaches us the best thing because there are so many examples in the world war 2 hitler captured many people and he he did the great genocide of the people there were many people who were killed and they were there were christians uh, many jews and the christians were taken inside that chamber and with the gas he used to kill many people and killed many people so here comes a uh, kuri ten boom kuri ten boom she was a faithful and strong believer of god her family they were watchmakers and they believed in god and they did lot of supportive to the jewish people so anyhow this uh, rulers they came to know so they caught them up everywhere every family members were imprisoned and uh, initially this kuri ten boom now her sister initiated faith to her so that she was a strong believer and kuri ten boom she was also believer but she was not much into the god's word but her elder sister she used to read the bible and pray in the night time even in the inside the prison and all were hearing the wordings of god now what happened the kuri ten boom she also believed but the sister who initiated faith she died inside the prison cell and also her father and all the family members they were killed in in that chamber but 
Kuri Ten Boom escapes marvelously but by just having the faith in Jesus she was very surprised and after many years they came to know that the wrong number was pronounced and miraculously she came out of prison see how much wonderful is the god when we have faith even in the tough and trial times god has a way out to bring us out of those conditions and situations which is not supportive to us so here god did a mar- marvelous work in the life of a kuri tanbum so god protects when even though we are under the trouble so don't think why god is permitting me trouble why god is not helping me why god is allowing me in the trial you know god when god permits us inside the trial and temptation he watches us he stands beside us and he is looking what is going through us so don't get fear in the trial time and don't many of them are falling down i mean they are turning back many time when they are coming in the temptation and trial they are falling down but you know if you hold down if you learn how to hold even in the trial time you can win the battle so god protects us from all the dangers moments and tough time also so always pray to god god deliver me out of the trial and temptation time uh ask god to show the right method and wait um you know sometimes unexpectedly the danger comes and we do not know but god also has his full hand uh he's he assigns an angels who are rescuing us even in the difficult situation so unknown danger also god rescues us um start praying for your careers you can pray for your careers you should know how to pray for your careers your you can make your better futures but by, by just relying on god stop cursing your parents stop cursing your elderly people because of him my life has become like this because of this person that person every negativism remove it and start praying for your future better days which are going to come and you know many of them are falling down by just murmuring you just murmur you just speak bad about other people many of you cause you have the habit of you always praise god god you have given me better parents even though you don't have you have to pray you have to say lord thank you for this parents thank you for this father and mother who are supportive to me to educate me and to bring me up in uh, in such a way that i am blessed i am i am i am honored i am i am something great i am doing something great lord because you have given me this parents so don't uh don't forget to pray for your careers you pray for your better futures and go ask god to lead you in the good direction so once you start praying and rely god you will see that your ambition will fulfill successfully and you will see that one day that god will do a good things for you so you should youngster should know you have to read bible regularly you have to pray you make this habit you know young so youngsters adolescents those who are hearing the voice of god you start praying to god you have make a habit of praying and reading the scripture and this will develop your character this will develop your uh your uh every areas of your life you will be developed you will you will be amended you know god will change you in every part of your life so in every way you are a new uh, you are going to appear to be a new person if you have the habit of praying and reading the scripture and start doing it today itself so when you were kid you were dependent on others you know the what happens with adolescents when they were kid their parents nurtured them they protected them they took care of them but they, when they reach to adolescent age they now they are thinking and varies from the parental thinking so there is a great you know mismatch between their thoughts so the thoughts varies so you can for adolescents i am saying you can 
give a space in your life to Jesus. He's a best friend for you to meet all your needs and fulfill all, all your demands. You can trust Jesus as your best friend so that, that every vacuum and that gap between you and your parents will be removed. And God can change that parent. God can change the children. You can surrender your life to Jesus and you can make a habit of praying. So that will help you. See the life of Reinhard Bunke. He was a great preacher. But you know at the age of 17, very small age, Bunke, we can take the life of Billy Graham. Surrender their life when they were adolescents and God did a mighty thing. You know, these people God used mightily and they were the example to shake the nations. So you must discern what to ask, what not to ask also. So start believing from your small age, you can do the mighty things in the upcoming days. Also, you should know that how, what you should pray, what you shouldn't pray and foolish things don't keep before the presence of God and also don't murmur, also don't repeat the things by shouting, yelling. God knows before what we are going to ask. Every needs are before God. Uh, whatever we have a needs, everything is open before God. So you should know that what you should ask, you should know that what you shouldn't ask in your prayer. You can ask for your protection, you can ask for your wisdoms, you can ask for the total protection upon your family and that will protect you and your family. And today let me pray for you, those who are watching. Abba Father, I am praying for this, everyone those who are watching right now. Lord Jesus, give them the wisdom and knowledge, Abba Father, so that Abba Father, you, Abba Father, they can be a witness to the world Lord that Jesus is their part of life, Lord. And I pray, Lord Jesus, let your mighty move be seen among the adults and young children. Abba Father, keep them safe and secure under your mighty wings. We see a lot of things happening inside the world, Lord. But Abba Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, save the adults, Lord, under your mighty wings, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, Abba Father, give them the wisdom and knowledge, bring peace inside the family. Abba Father, give them, uh, give the not only the adolescents, Lord, but I pray for the old and the great and the small, everyone, Lord, let them, Abba Father, trigger in the wisdom, Lord, trigger in the knowledge, Lord, Abba Father, brush up their wisdom, Lord, I give all of them in your hand, Lord Jesus. Abba Father, I pray for their needs, meet all their needs, Lord, and they keep the demands before you. I pray for the people those who are going through trial and temptations. Every moment they are just stuck up in the trials and temptations, bring them up, Lord, open the door so that they can come out of those trials and temptations which they are going through, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, let every powers of dark forces and curses be removed in the name of Jesus. Let every powers of ancestral curse be removed and banished from their ways, Lord. Change their life, Lord, above other. Make them Sir, Lord, and Abba Father, meet all their demands also, Lord, Abba Father. Teach them what they should pray and how they should pray, Lord. Abba Father, let Abba Father, your word deeply penetrate inside their heart and start working in their life also, Lord. I pray for small children, Lord, those who are studying in the schools, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, protect them from the worldly things also, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus, Abba Father, initiate faith. I pray for all the people, Lord Abba Father, let thy blessings come upon them. I pray for the sick people, Lord Jesus, Abba Father, those who are having a sickness, Lord Abba Father, touch them. I pray for every finger, cold, cough, let it be removed in the name of Jesus. I pray for every uh, disability, Abba Father. I pray, Lord Jesus, Abba Father, they, Abba Father, those who are having the sickness, Abba Father, the skin diseases, the leprosy type diseases, Jesus, I pray for everyone, those who are, Abba Father, having the, Abba Father, kidney problems, heal them, Lord. those who are having the tumors, I pray, I rebuke its powers in the name of Jesus, let every powers and cells of those cancers be re rebuked in the name of Jesus, I renounce it, Lord. heal them completely, those who are having 
chemotherapy heal them completely stop it the lord of our father heal them our father let the function of god be our father increased in the life of jesus and your angels and heal them completely destroy the work of the enemy of you i pray for you. our father the whole family protection lord your hand be upon that family lord jesus heal them completely. bless everyone in jesus name i pray